The world of print and demand includes so many different products other than t-shirts and hoodies. And I think we've seen this when we did the Zazzle part five, I think it was with 35 different shop ideas for your Zazzle store as Zazzle has over 1500 products, which is insane, especially when you think about the fact that Zazzle doesn't have some of the products on Society6, like credenzas and bar stools, which is insane. We have so many different products and as much as we have so many different products, we also have so many different design softwares that we can use to design these many products. And I think that what I want to do today is just design a bunch of products that I don't usually design here on this channel. I will be using the Zazzle platform, but of course these designs can apply to so many other platforms like TeePublic, Redbubble, Society6, Printful, and so many other marketplaces and suppliers, as well as use a design tool that was not yet mentioned on this channel, trying to push it to its limits and make something cool. Well, several somethings. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mao. I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this is going to be a little bit of a big Zazzle print on demand design tutorial using Kittle. Now, so many of you guys have asked me about Kittle. I think it's been like two, three months that you've been asking me about Kittle. And I even popped the question myself in our group asking you guys if you're using Kittle, because the truth is that I actually spoke to them about two, three months ago. I had the most I don't know, sort of comfortable chat with one of their team members, Boyana. I feel like, you know, she was in Serbia at the time. We had that Balkan vibe going around. For those of you who don't know, I'm living in Bulgaria for over a year now. And I just felt, you know, this is a cool person. And I feel like I'm not stressing this enough when you're doing print on demand or any type of business online. When you're alone, especially like on this side of the camera, it's kind of nice to meet nice people along the way. And we had a really cool chat. We were checking out some features of Kittle. Uh, we're talking about their system, comparing it to Canva, what you can do on it that you can't do with Canva, what you can do on Canva that you can't do on it. And I felt like I wanted to see some hardcore evidence that this tool for some people could actually give them more than Canva, which if you know me, I, I'm a big Canva fanatic. I've outspoken about Canva so many times before, but it's actually kind of fun on Kittle. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it otherwise. So I will be designing a bunch of stuff today using Kittle. Now their design software includes sort of a social media, social based sharing template. So there are templates to a bunch of stuff like logos and labels and t-shirts. And what I loved most about their platform is not the ready-made templates, but their text morphing abilities. They have so many cool text effects that really kind of got me thinking. And I'm not just talking about the basic text effects, like dropping a shadow and stuff like that, or splitting the text into two colors, or having stripes of two colors on a text. I'm also talking about full distort to the text, which is super cool. This is something that usually I go to Canva, put a text there, download a PNG with transparent background, put it on my iPad and distort it there on Procreate. So this is something really cool that you can do directly online. They have a free membership, which is pretty limited. I'm going to go over their pricing and their memberships in a minute. But what I really wanted to do right now and show you guys right now are the abilities of the system while I'm designing several products. So the products that I chose to design today are a mug, a sticker pack, crossbody bag, and a wrapping paper set of three. And of course, all of these products can be designed on a different one. I mean, the same layout you're using for a mug, you can use for a face mask, whatever I'm gonna put on a sticker, you can put on a t-shirt. I just felt like these products would be fun to play around with, and they're all gonna be designed for the Zazzle platform. If you have never heard about Zazzle before, there is a full series on this channel just about what is Zazzle, how to sell on Zazzle, how does Zazzle compare to places like Redbubble, Society6, and TeePublic, and if you guys want to start selling on Zazzle, it's kind of fun. But if Zazzle is not something that is interesting to you and you already have the places where you're selling art on, you can definitely take advantage of this uh, free cool design tutorial to get you inspired. We have a lot of things to design today, so I'm going to stop talking and make myself smaller so I can share my screen with you guys. And we're here on Kittle, joining the design revolution. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of templates. A bunch of templates. This one is actually kind of cool. The campervan community. And you can go into these templates and 
change them and use them the same way that you would on Canva or on Placeit. The only difference is they're much more complex here. I mean, come on, just check out this. This is insane. The Dark Forest book cover. This looks so good. So good. Look at the way the text is just moving and morphing around. I mean, this design is amazing. We also have here this cool little thing. I kind of like this for a label, I think. They really have some really fun designs, but I know what I want to do today, and I also know that I want to do it from scratch. So what I'll have to do is go to New Project and just click on New Project, and then it creates a box. What is the box? Let me tell you, the box on the settings is 1200 by 1200 pixels, which to me is nothing. You can also choose other sizes for your box, which is postcard, business card, A4, A5. By the way, postcard with four by six inch, you have DPI control on the download, which is pretty cool. And you can also choose small poster, big poster, Instagram post, Facebook post, or just custom size based on pixels or inches or millimeters. You can use a trim view, which basically creates a slightly different color for the background and show a certain grid to divide your design into sizes, which I prefer not to use this time. Now, if I want to get started with any kind of design, I'm just gonna have to figure out what size I want it to be. Let's say for a mug, I'm gonna go to Zazzle, where I already opened up all the mugs that you can design on Zazzle, which is insane. So many mugs here. I am thinking that I might want to design a latte mug. I feel like the latte mug might be an interesting choice to design because I feel like the design is not going to be complete or something. Let's check out this large mug or small mug. Ah, okay, the large mug. Add image. And I'm kind of confused as to why this is like a full on rectangle since it, it kind of looks like it would be, I don't know, Wrapping it around be kind of weird. Let's check it out how it's actually going to look if we wrap it around my files. I'm going to try and put this here. It's kind of weird. I'm, I'm not really sure why it's a full rectangle on the printing and not like a trapeze. Hmm. It is kind of weird. But what I'm going to do with this latte is I'm not going to create a background like this. I'm going to do some cool text on it for people who like coffee. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my product and I'm looking at my dimensions. So my dimensions for the 17 ounce are six inch by three and a half inch. Hence the design I'm going to make. I'm going to go back to Kittle and notice that it's a bit the other way around. Usually uh, when you're talking about dimensions, you're starting with the width of something and then the height here, it's the other way around. So I'm going to need to go to inches and I want to design something that is three and a half by six inches, correct? Correct. Sometimes I also like to double that size to, if I can. I mean, it's a relatively small size, so let's just double it and confirm, and we have here our new project. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that whenever something like this pops up in the side, I can still ha, see what I'm doing. Let's even zoom out a little bit more and start playing around. We have the background color, which is accessible by simply clicking on the background, and you can use any color you want, including changing the opacity of the background itself, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna start, I think, with a white background because that's the background of the latte mug, and I'm gonna directly go to text. We're talking about coffee, right? Well, maybe I want coffee beans. I need to really think what I want to put on my latte mug. I'm thinking inspiration in the morning or something with inspiration. Okay, so we have different text here and this one is uh, probably my favorite <laughs> text bracket. I've been playing around with the system a little bit and we have like decorated text. This one is literally called coffee. I mean, seriously, it's called coffee. We also have milk and honey. <laughs> which I think would also be cute for that. We have Blockbuster and the Victorian also looks amazing. I am thinking to go, oh, the circus also looks good. Let's go with milk and honey and see what I can do with this. So these are basically two pieces of text, not one. And with a right click, I can choose to ungroup these two pieces and carry them out separately. So I am thinking, maybe let's do the basic. 
but first and then coffee. Now this gets me thinking that maybe the but first should be a bit more boring, let's say like that, and not as complex as this crazy thing. I really like this one. Looks really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text effect settings, which are here, and I'm going to undo the shadow and undo the other color. I'm also having a border to this, which I will reduce to zero. And I might change the text color to black. So I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller and center it. If you can't find the center line or it's annoying for you to find it, you could just center it with this button here. And then with coffee, what I feel like I want to do is go to elements and then just type in coffee. Let's see what they have. So I have here a bunch of coffee beans. This is kind of, this one is really cool. I kind of really like this one. Okay, scrolling down. I think I kind of like these ones, just the beans themselves. Let's close this. And I feel like I kind of want to dump them around in random places. I'm just using Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Or Command C, Command V, actually, because I'm using a Mac. Uh, let's flip this one. And flip this one. And maybe give them a different color. I mean, come on, it's coffee, right? Let's make it a bit more caffeinated. And as you can see, we have a document palette so I can easily find any color that I'm using in this design. Let's check this one out to the brighter one as well, as well as this one, the darker. Okay, I can also adjust my butt first, maybe to this color as well. And now going back to my coffee, I'm gonna use, I think, black. And here, this shade of coffee and this shade of coffee. But first, black again. Let's go look at the fonts. <laughs> this is where they get interesting because there are several fonts here that I have never seen in my life. And that's because Kittle is the baby child of an actual font company. <laughs> so there are so many unique fonts here that you will not find anywhere else. And if you've been doing print on demand for a while, even if you're selling t-shirts, you know that the font is everything. I mean, the way people look at fonts is everything these days. If something is just, you know, just kind of looks like what everybody else is doing and it's not that unique, you need a different font. Magnolia script is one of my favorites, but how about the milkman? Why is it called the milkman? I'm curious about font naming. I should really get back to doing my own fonts. I did a little bit. Uh, what? Okay. This is a font that every letter is a word. Oh, that's insane. Okay. Let's get back to Amatic, which I like a lot, and Anton, which I usually go for. I feel like I'm a boring person. Okay, this is an interesting font. This is Bayanita. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the text coffee with their transformation. So we have custom transformations that you can sort of, ooh, this looks interesting. <laughs> can sort of do something like this and move these around as much as you want. Let's cancel that. We have the circle, which I'm guessing you all know about. The only difference here between the circle and Canva is that you have to click this way. The design will morph itself to the other side. We also have placing this on any type of angle. So I can play around with this line here. I can arch this. I can rise this, wave it, or something like a flag. But what I really like is the distort option because that's the option I use in my professional tools, which give me a second, I think I'm gonna do coffee in all caps for this one. And once I already clicked on any kind of transformation, if I wanna edit it, I just click here on edit or here. If I click back on this, it cancels the transformation. So let's distort this little puppy here by doing something like this. I was thinking to try to play around that this will be like above some of the coffee beans, but now I feel like I have made a terrible, terrible idea come to life. 
But it is kind of wicked. It is weird. I kind of like weird designs. Okay. I am going to take this text, shrink it up, and distort it as well. Taking this here, and this here, and this here. And trying to find my little lines. Eh, looks cool enough for me. I don't know about you guys. Then just move around the coffee beans. And yeah, I need to edit this again. This is not cool enough. Yep. Maybe like this. And of course, we're not going to know if this is a good idea or a bad idea until we actually see it on a product. By the way, a pretty cool thing that I just found out is that if you select all the items and go like this, it centers everything. Not together, <laughs> separately. So I'm just going to manually do all of them. Of course, we can also select all of them and hit the right button and group them together. But that was a bit of a funny thing to discover. Now to the download part, I'm going to download this in 300 dpi, which changes the pixel size without the background in PNG. And I am going to go to my Zazzle mug, go to my files and drop this file here to create my latte. Let's have a look. I kind of like it. I do have to say that I kind of like it and I am done. And as you can see here, Zazzle is also going to give you options on how this would look on other thing. Ooh, they have a porcelain pitcher. What? Since when did they add that? They keep adding more and more products. This, this company is insane. In any case, we're down with one product. Let's move on to the next. And we're going to create one of my favorite items, custom stickers. But not just stickers. We're going to create a whole vinyl sticker sheet which is pretty, pretty cool because, you know, it's a sheet of stickers and there was a full Zazzle stickers tutorial on this channel. So you can go ahead and check it out. If you need a little bit more explanation, I was also showing the quality of the stickers and the Zazzle sticker sheets are one by one ratios uh, coming from two to 14. So I'm going to design the 14 inch by 14 inch, which means I'm going to go to Kittle I'm going to exit this design because it has nothing to do with what I want to do. And I'm going to create a new project and I am going to change it to dum, 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 14 by 14 inch design. Now I'm not using Kittle for free. I'm using the expert plan. And as you can see here, I told you I'll go over the pricing with you guys. So you do have a free plan with low resolution image export, work on 10 project, 50 megabyte upload space, the design library and commercial license where you have to attribute the designs and the creations of them to Kittle. This is the very basic design for free so you can go ahead and try it out. They also have pro expert and business ranging from $10 a month to $79 a month. I think the pro would pretty much be the best thing I think for print on demand users. You have vector export, so you can export SVG files, which is really, really cool. You have high resolution image export, custom font upload and commercial licensing. You can work on 50 projects and one gigabyte of upload space. You can get a lot more than that with the expert, which is what I'm using. You don't really have to. You have the yearly bill, which is these prices billed annually or bill monthly. So definitely you can go ahead and check out Kittle for the first month for $15. See if that is something that is good for you. If you can see yourself designing with it a bit more or take a month to redesign some products and then take your time to see how it goes. I can definitely tell you that there are more and more and more features coming up to Kittle. Super amazing features that were discussed. I had a nice chat with Drew from Kittle the other day. We actually recorded there will be a video of me on the Kittle YouTube channel. And I think in the beginning of September, we're doing the biggest print on a man haul ever. So we kind of chatted a little bit after and I got to learn some of the features that are coming. So I'm super pumped, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and let's design our sticker sheet. And for this, I'm kind of thinking, okay, what is the purpose of my stickers? I'm thinking something, you know, you know how I like this motivational stuff or inspirational stuff. Let's just look at text and see what inspires me. So I'm going to check out some of the stuff that they have here. They have some badges. Maybe I can like do badges of the whole thing. 
maybe that would be a nice idea. High quality coffee beans. <laughs> Why did I not see that before? We also have the decorative. You know what, we could just play around with some of the decorative, also Victorian or play around with a blue sign. Let's do this. Let's write more and then copy paste this and write self and love. Yay, more self love. Let's just make them a tiny bit tidier here. I'm trying to think if I want this to be like that, maybe. I'm not playing around with it that much. I'm just moving it around and I'm going to put this here. I also think that I want to write something different. Let's do, I believe in me, not meow, me. Let's do this, make it bigger. And I'm sort of just placing these around my canvas to be made for stickers. And then I'm gonna figure out how to design them in terms of, you know, how they look inside. Let's go again. Oh, this is really big, yep. Day is a great day. Great today is a great, let's move the word day. It is a great day, not that. What's with me in language today? It's a great day to get things uh -huh. done. We're not done, but it's a great day to get things done. Let's move it up like this. Now I feel like I wanna take a shape or something, so I'm gonna to go to their elements and let's draw a heart. Let's not draw, like pull information of a heart. Ooh, this is cool. I like this. This will be here. And let's get another heart. I like this style though. I really like this style. Maybe I can use this style, but just flip it over. Yep. Let's just copy paste this and right click and flip it over. So this is gonna be here. Let's look at our layers and take this illustration to the bottom under the text. Thank you. And put this one here. And let's check out just another random text, not paragraph. Just a random text. Do so I believe in me? And put the I believe in me here. I feel like uh, I'm, I'm not explaining well enough because I'm really focusing on trying to make this really cool. Um, it's what fun, what fun, what fun, what fun, boom. Really? Nah. My font roulette is not playing around with me. Okay. This one. I can't believe I just designed something while covering my eyes and doing a font roulette. And for here, I think I'm definitely going to have to use the distort. Let's put it a little bit like this. Close our layers and distort this to here. I need to zoom in a bit more. Yep. I'm going to put this here and this here. This here. And this goes up a little bit like this. Looks like a weird tattoo. But I'm kind of digging it. I don't know what about you guys. I can zoom out again. I think I kind of like it. Let's go back to and delete this. I believe in me that was enough. We have more self and love and I need to choose on the color palette because I've just been playing around with these stickers so far but I need to really find myself a color palette so I'm gonna look at this as my main thing here let's move it around and think about the color palette I do like playing around with black and blue 
I don't know, I think I think it's somehow like my favorite colors or maybe a bit of green into them because I really do like green. Even though it's not usually a very, I don't know, feminine color of some sort, maybe I should make it pink and blue. I also like combinations of like fuchsia and blue. So that could be cool as well. And of course, that little dot here is going to be in this color. Maybe let's make the whole thing pink. I'm feeling pinkish today. Let's take it to maybe a darker shade of pink. And I think I might make the color of the text white or pale pink. No, white. This is kind of cool. Maybe I should change this one. Oh, I can do this forever. I can just play around with these colors forever and never finish. Okay, yeah, I'm getting back to the blue. I know. Yeah, this is going to be a totally kind of blue sticker pack. I like it this way. So with that, I'm going to design the more self-love. I'm going to make a small S here, not a big one. And I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Now I want to drop the M a little bit, if I can. Drop like the whole thing and then twist it up. I think, why not? Let's lift this. I'm just playing around with this at this point. Honestly, a lot of the times I feel like it's just really cool to have something that, that is a bit more unique than what other people are doing with text. That's why I think I really like the distort effect because it just creates a more interesting design in so many cases. And let's distort the self as well. That sounded very philosophical, what I just said. But yeah. about like this and I'm going to color them in the colors of the original color palette like the color palette we had down below because I feel like that would be a smart thing to do and this and the self could be maybe with these colors no these are the original colors so I feel like I really like this one so I'm going to grab all three of them and group them together so I can move them around together. I'm also going to group these. And we have today's a great day to get things done. Okay. This one I don't think I'm going to change much. Maybe I'm going to change just the, just the font. Woo! No. Ooh. Maybe. Aha, okay. Everything is going to be changed to that one. Today is a great day to get things done. And I think that this is the one that is not centered. Yeah, I feel like I need to find something to determine the center line and just go with it. Okay, this will be my center line. Let's center this based on the day. Yep. This line over here, let's take it a bit up because I'm going to make the day a bit bigger. This. And here, let's maybe do a little bit of a different thing. We can cancel the backdrop on all of them. Today's a great day. We can also cancel this. No, it's kind of cute. We also have this option. There's something about gradient. You know what? Let's cancel this and just on the day and on the done. And this will be meta. Well, this could be full split. Full split is nice. I think I kind of like this. And the colors are going to be black and this blue. And I'm going to remove the border on these. And change this one to blue and to black the other way around and within the day it's gonna be black and we're gonna have two shades of the same blue that we have in our little project here 
this shade of blue and what was the other one? What was this one? Yeah. Today is a great way, is a great day to get things done. And we have another one of these hearts, but I don't want to use this heart. So maybe let's just go to elements and type in love again and see. Maybe I'm just going to use something really cool like this. Ooh, this is nice. Color black. I'm going to color this. And blue. Yep. And maybe a cupcake. Yep. This is going to be my sweet, motivational, cute, something sticker pack, right? I really like this flower. I don't know where it came from or how they made it, but I really like it. I'm going to move this down a little bit more so I make sure that I don't have any edges and I'm just going to fit in all the colors. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export the whole thing with a transparent background in 300 DPI. Thank you very much as a PNG. And I am going to upload it to my extra size vinyl. Oh, wow. I was working a lot about this one. I feel like I can design stickers forever. I think it's one of my favorite things. And if we have to look at it here, let's check out the preview. I just want to see that it's cutting everything correctly. Yeah, it is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I kind of wish they had a bit more background given to some of the designs here, but it is kind of cool and I can even go bigger with some of those, but let's click on done. And check this out if I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Let's say someone orders it on a six by six inch, which makes more sense. It's the perfect size for journaling. Oh my God, these are actually kind of cool. I think I'm going to get these stickers for myself. If I will, I will, of course, update you guys, keep you posted and make sure that you know. We have two more products to design. One of them is going to be super easy because I am going for the cross body bag which is something that I wanted to do a long time ago. It's an all over print, which is 16 by 16 inch. I'm going to have to create that design, but I actually want to use an existing design from here. So I'm looking into some of their cool design. Create your own sunshine. This is kind of cool. Hey, Joshua, I'm wishing you a lovely day. It's very random. I really like so many of their designs. Don't stop until you're proud. Oh, this is really cool. Um, let's check out if we have any kind of information added a year ago. Wow. They've been going around for a while there, huh? Okay. We have our new design and I want to check out if I can see the dimensions of it or how it's going to download. Okay. So the width obviously is a bit different and I'm going to need something a bit more square for my cross body bag. I just want to play around and see what happens to the cross body. Okay. It's a full square. Okay, so I need this to fit into a square. So what will I do? I'm going to go maybe to check out custom sizes here. And I'm going to go to 20 on 20 inches and confirm. And that just extended everything. Grab everything and move it to the center of the design. So I can just use the center when I'm designing the cross body bag. And what I'm gonna do here, we have this amazing group of colors. So we can just change the colors ourselves to, I want white and I want, it's like magenta thing. What kind of blue, what kind of red or pink? And then we have the colors of the text, which of course I'm gonna change as well. I'm going to want a bit more white here. Honestly, guys, I'm just playing around. A part of me wants sometimes to not even look at what I'm doing, like not even look at what does this color mean or where is it coming from, literally to just play around and see what it does, to stop being such a perfectionist, I guess, with everything. Because sometimes when you stop being a perfectionist, that's when things really do get better and interesting. Don't stop until you're proud. I kind of like this one now. Let me see if I can center. Oh, come on. Come, everybody. Let's see if I can center. 
Where is my center line? I think that this is sort of centering it in my eye because the design is very complex. And of course, I am going to change the background. And here we are being introduced to textures. So let's go on to textures, which is at the bottom here. And there are so many different textures that you could be using for your designs. And I really like this one, the pattern textures. And I'm going to maybe turn it up about a bit so you can see what it does. You can use it in the same palette colors that we have here. And we can take the texture layer and put it above every layer or under. Let's release the texture so I can put it under some of my designs, even though I kind of like my texture to be above. Let's maybe check out another one. Ooh, this one is really nice. I love this texture. It's amazing. I think that this, like, playing around on this is kind of cool. I might have to do a little bit of adapting to my to some of the text. No, don't stop. Opa. And I want the other to be our I really do enjoy playing around with this and I can do it forever, but we do need to finish the tutorials in some point. So let me just download this. I don't need a transparent background for this one and JPEG would be just fine. And I'm going to basically create this to be the same on both sides of my bag. Let's remove this, upload this here. Let's check it out. Don't step until you're proud. Actually looks kind of cool. I think I might have needed to adapt it a little bit more to fit the square, but I kind of like it. I'm also going to go to the back and what I'm going to do with the back of the duffel, the back of my bag is I'm going to go here and I am going to turn off all of the illustrations and all of the groups and I'm going to download this as a as a JPEG file, go back to my bag, to my back, to my back layer, and just upload this. And this will be the back layer of my bag. And this is the bag I designed. It's actually kind of cool. I think I want to make the front a bit smaller and I'm going to do this now. Let's make everything visible again. And let's grab everything and make it smaller and center it. Yep. And download this again. I'm driving the system crazy today. I'm going to go directly back to the front because I feel like this design was maybe a bit too big. And I think it looks much better now. So don't stop until you're proud with the back being like this and done. Oh my God. I really want to see how this one turns out. I really want to see how this one turns out, especially when it's automatically being transferred to so many cool stuff. <gasps> A Zippo lighter. This is so cool. Oh wow. I'm, I'm going to really enjoy this one. But I wanted to wrap this up with something a bit different, which is the wrapping paper set. There was a full wrapping paper tutorial here on this channel. And what I want to do is actually do a few simple things, very simple things to create really, really cool wrapping paper. I'm going to create a pack of thank you, happy birthday, and with love, and make them on basically the same vibe or something like this. So let's do it with good vibes. This is a nice template. Let's use this design. And instead of good vibes, I will write down, think, where is my K? Ah, my K needs to be continued. Think. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Thank you. <gasps> and is that a text behind it also? Okay, this is more, it's gonna be more complex than I thought. Let's ungroup. 
This is another vibes. Let's change it to another you. How many vibes are there here? Oh my God. This design is so much more complex than I thought. Let's ungroup this one. Good, 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 and good. And you, wow, this was a very complex design. We have thank you. And I am going to change this to be not white all the way. Yeah, maybe white. Thank you. Maybe black. And the border is black as well. Hmm. I really like the simple colors. I feel like there is something about Kittle that is so retro and in your face and out there. And I'm like, yeah, just make everything black and white. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Let's change this one to black, this one to white, and this one to black. Again, this one to white. And this one to black. We have those little stars here. I'm going to remove the background, make the opacity at zero, and I will be downloading this with 300 dpi and remove the background. PNG transparent background. And this was a thank you, but we also wanted to do other stuff like happy birthday. So let's change this one to happy. And here, write B day. B day. Yep, let's change the colors up a bit. Let's change the entire color of these into something like bluish, kinda, blue, purplish. Working on this. No, like that. Changing this. Yep. And download it PNG with a transparent background. And the last one we want to do with love. Let's remove the rainbows for this one and go with loving colors. Red. And a different red. As simple as that. Switching it up. And download this with a removable background. I'm going to go to the last product, which is the wrapping paper flat sheet of three, and upload each and every one of these here, and they're going to pop up on my sheet. One on top of the other, I'm going to remove them. Um, staying with the first one, obviously, because I am with the first sheet. I am going to take this here. Let's give it a bit of a black background. What do you think? Ooh, I like the black background, actually. Or maybe a gray. Something in the line of the purple. The purple actually might fit kind of nice with it. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this. I am going to put it on the side. I'm going to put it, this in the corner and I'm going to tile it by half dropping it. Oh, we can also uh, center it if we want, be a bit easier or again, half brick or half drop for that kind of a zigzag look. Let's try to swerve it to the side. And we got our first wrapping paper in the mix with thank you. Moving on to the second layer, which is front number two. I'm going to go to my files and pull out the happy B day, make it smaller, pull it on the side, and half drop my tiling just like that. And of course, if I want to edit my background a little bit to whatever background I see fit, I can even do black, I kind of like black for happy birthdays. I don't know why. And of course, our last wrapping paper with love. This one is a bit more simplistic. Let's move this around and tile it by half dropping it. 
Hmm, smaller. With love was a bit small, huh? It is kind of cool. But I don't like that it's tiling it so far away from each other. How about a centered one? Ooh. Half drop. Thank you. Fixed it. Background. Mm, I don't know if I want black. But I do want it to be a bit dark because I want people to be able to see those stars behind it. This one is kind of cool. And we are done with the fourth and last product for today, which is actually a set of three wrapping paper that I done completely using Kittle. We have this super cool set of wrapping paper. We have this uber cool <laughs> side bag that I want to order. An insanely cool sticker pack that was done super professionally in no time. And this latte, but first coffee mug that I actually want to order. And I've done it all with Kittle, which was kind of a cool thing to do. And you know what? Let me just uh, make myself bigger again. So we can just finalize this video and talk a little bit about Kittle and about more things that are coming up. I have been using so many different designs tools for the past few years, and I feel like I will be using Kittle a bit more. I feel like there are so many abilities in Kittle that save me time from taking something from Canva and making it into Procreate. It really does feel like a program that can save me time when I want to do text designs. And that's something that I actually haven't done much in my past. For those of you who know how I got started, I pretty much got started with Redbubble deactivating their t-shirts because I didn't see the point. So I wasn't really doing text designs. I was doing a lot of patterns, but I feel like a lot of the things that I want to do, especially when it comes to sticker packs and a lot of these cool items, I feel like Kittle is going to fit right in. It's also going to fit right in into tomorrow's video, which is all about Zazzle notebooks. Everything about notebooks, which is why there was no notebook design here. I'm going to do some really, really cool stuff with Zazzle notebooks using Kittle. And I'm also thinking about other cool stuff to do with them, including, yes, designing t-shirts for Halloween. I want to get creative and think to myself what kind of t-shirts I can do for Halloween, as well as work on my Tee Public store for Halloween. And I'm going to do that, work on my Tee Public store for Halloween with you guys and with Kittle in the next few videos. I would love to know what you thought about this tutorial. Of course, if you liked it, feel free to hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And it makes me feel better about myself talking to the camera for about an hour now. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. But seriously, I would love to hear your thoughts about Kittle. We only just began to scratch the surface. I, I thought so much on how am I going to do this video? Am I going to make a video of, hey, look, this is Kittle. You can click on this. You can click on this. You can click on this. But that's not really my style. Just to look at a platform and, you know, show all these things. I just wanted to show you how it looks when you actually make several products with it to open up your mind to the possibilities and to the ideas that can pop from it. And I hope that you guys had fun. I would love to know what design was your favorite one out of all these designs and are you using Kittle and do you like them or have you changed your mind about them or maybe text is not really your thing which is also okay and of course I'll be super happy to see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Bulgaria time with a live with Zazzle Notebooks. Just a cute little way for me to bond with you guys on a Friday night before I go and sing a karaoke. <laughs> but with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Kittle for this awesome software that I'm still going to explore further and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye!